First case. Katie Phelan. What did you do? <laughs> He's got blue. She killed my son. She shook the baby several times and then smothered it. You can tell that for sure. To lose a second baby. Second baby? I think it's so sad that they gave them the same name. I love my baby. Katie's conviction is unsafe. I think it's likely she'll be released. This is a great day. My daughter should never have been in prison in the first place. Maloney, we've won. Let me have my moment. I think you got it wrong. She's around. Nip to the loo, I think. Everything all right? Oh, yes, fine. Rose? I think you'll find this is the ladies' facility, Maloney. Are you planning on staying in here all day? A new place. You get a new piece around here. Take a pew. I think we might have screwed up in a serious way. Yes. We got someone out of jail for murder on the basis of genetic evidence that doesn't exist. Right. My dad always says if you're going to make a mistake, it's best to make a big, bold one. He says that, does he? <sighs> yeah. What are our options? Doing? Getting out my list of options. Oh, Jesus. Well, do you want to hear this or not? I want to hear them. Right. We can keep quiet and take the credit. And if someone did kill Will Campese, hope they don't feel like killing anybody else. We can go to our bosses and tell them we made an honest mistake and hope they remember all the wonderful things we've done in the past. How many more? Well, we can work out whether the baby was murdered, and if he was, we can work out who killed him. You got anything else? No. Right. We go back to the beginning. Who's available? Who could have harmed that baby who's been lying to us? If you need anything, you just shout. Oh, I'll be fine. I've got everything I need, haven't I? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean... No, it's all right. It's all right. I've got a wonderful goddaughter. It's enough. I love you. Go on. Thanks, Joe. Mm. Oh, I do want to meet her dad, Davy. If only so I can freeze him out a little bit here. Martin. <laughs> Bloody useless twat. Maybe. I'll see you later. Sir. See you later. Bye bye, darling. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> I'll go over later. Marsha, let it be. Rose, Mr. Maloney, what a nice surprise. We've seen the last of you. 
How can we help you? Why'd you lie about your child? You didn't tell them or us that Will wasn't your biological child. I don't understand. Marsha, we talked before the appeal about a possible genetic pattern in your family, and you didn't say anything. It was private. It was private, okay? I never hurt my child. Well, what do you think caused Will's death? Oh. Well, we don't know. Nobody knows. He's gone, so I'd like you to leave us alone now. That won't do. We need to know about this. After William died in 1994, I... I did something foolish. I was so upset I can't explain. I wanted to make sure it could never happen again. You had a hysterectomy. It was a terrible, terrible mistake. We thought we could manage without children, but we were wrong. We moved and tried to start again, but uh, there was a lot missing. And then things changed. I'll have a baby. I'm sorry, I, I don't... But if it means that much, I'll have a baby for you. For Christ's sakes, how difficult can it be? Well, why not? I mean, Bill wouldn't have to actually, you know... We could have a delivery system. Davina... That's probably the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. But I, I, I can't see how... Oh, shut love. <laughs> Give a little. It doesn't have to be all punishment. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. It only took three goes. A bit embarrassing, but we were friends, you know. We used a pipette from Marsha's school laboratory in the end. We laughed about it. Must have been hard to give up a baby and live so close. Oh, not so hard. I'd help Marsha out a bit, babysit, cook, hang out. That was enough. I didn't really want children back then. But Bill and Marsha, they needed it. When I was four months pregnant, Marsha took early maternity leave and we went to Italy. We stayed with Bill's aunt. And when we came back, Marsha had her baby. And I, uh, I liked the name they gave him. It must have been terrible. You lost him too. Yes, I lost him too. And you let that girl go. Why did you do that? Nobody's ever died of cot death in my family. It was that girl, and you let her go. Why? Is this a good idea? We need advice, Maloney. We don't even know for sure that Will Campesi was murdered. She knows the facts. She's a member of the Bollocks Up Club, too, and she'll keep still. Yes. Diane, it's Rose Linden from the Seagulls. Oh, go screw yourself. Seems a little edgy. Well, you got her fired and ruined her life. I'm guessing here, but there's an outside chance she hates your guts. Look, I told you... Come on, Diane, we need some help. What else have you got on? Hi. Thanks for seeing us. Who's this, Robin the Boy Wonder? No, it's Maloney, actually, though I have my moments. What do you want? Like I said, a spot of advice from an expert. Well, I'm not an expert. I'm a dangerous charlatan these days, thanks to you. I'm having a very large vodka and cranberry. Do you care to join me? No, thank yes, you. Yes, please, Good that'd be lovely. So what are you doing with yourself? Oh, re-evaluating. They're checking every case I gave evidence on in the last five years. 
Anything to worry about? Cheers. So, there's a problem. In that? In that Marcia Campesi could not have been the mother of Will Campesi. She had a hysterectomy before he was born. They lied. I beg your pardon? They lied. Right. And you smashed my career to pieces. No, you did that yourself when you gave evidence on a pathology report that you hadn't read properly. Oh, boy. Oh, it's nice to know that you're in the shit, too. Well, we will be. When we tell people. Well, I'll drink to that. The pathology report found a bacterial infection in Will Campese's throat. We need to know if that could have killed him. If it really was a cop death. <laughs> you want me to help you get off the hook? Well, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> Come on, Diane. <laughs> was the baby murdered? <sighs> it's hard to tell. So you look at the external circumstances. Like? Like signs of trauma, like a carer who's already admitted she's harmed other children, like I was right all along and you're a bunch of arrogant incompetence. We could form a club, Diane. Oh, dear. You got the girl acquitted so she can't be tried again. You have done well, haven't you? Christ. Hi, Ray. This isn't good, Rose. What else can we do, Maloney? Didn't you call the police? You always say that. The police think I'm a killer who got off. Everyone does. I can't do anything. I can't go out. It's worse than prison. Nobody believes anything I say. Oh, Kitty, darling. I never said I thought you did it, I swear. I was just upset. You were pissed. You're always pissed. You'll get compensation. Hmm. Maybe go to college, learn something new, something you like doing. I like to look after kids. But why have you come here, eh? Because it ain't to see how I am, is it? Hey, 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 don't talk like that. They helped you. Katie, you were acquitted. And that means that nobody can ever accuse you of that crime again. But we're starting to think Will Campesi may have been injured deliberately after all. Katie, did your home, Will? We need to know. We just need to know so that we can decide whether to stop all this. Get out. It's a simple question. A simple question? Look, did you kill the baby? Answer her for Christ's sake. I wanted to. <laughs> Put him down. I think he's overtired. Look, he's fine. Just do it, Katie. We've got to mark this coursework and stuff the land castle in the fridge. Come on. Come on. Oh, what were you thinking? That it weren't fair. Marsha, she always hid at the end of the day when he cried. Well, please. Please just stop. You did something, didn't you? Something you haven't told anyone about before. It was a big house. I was tired too. I just wanted to get away from that sound. I needed a rest. That's all. A few minutes. Don't think it could hurt anyone. Something woke me up, and he was quiet. I thought everything was fine. So, uh, I watched Richard and Judy for a while. I think, I think maybe I slept a bit more. I don't know. It was a while, and I went to see how he was. I thought he was all right, but he wasn't. <laughs> what was it woke you up, Katie? <laughs> the back door. 
We used to slam shut when there was a draft. We all like the wind chimes in the kitchen, so they used to leave it open. I've never read anything about this in your statement. I didn't tell no one. Why on earth not? I didn't want them to know I fell asleep watching the telly when I was supposed to be looking after Will, did I? Katie, they wouldn't have sent you to prison for that. Why'd you lie? It made it my fault. I didn't want it to be my fault! It was all right for Marsha to have a sleep, but not for me! Why is that, huh? Why is it? I don't know, Katie. That's everything. The whole truth. All right, you've asked her, she's told you, and it's time for you to go, OK? I like them. I really liked going there. It was nice, you know. I was happy there. Really happy. When did my brothers come home? Never get another chance, do you? Do you believe it? I want to. Everybody involved in this case has lied to us one way or another. Katie Phelan is a very disturbed kid. Yes. And who else have we got? Marsha Campes has been in charge of two children who've died. So has her husband. We got a witness statement. He was in the pub after work, came home to find the ambulance already outside. Well, what about the real mother, Davina? She was in another house. She was having dinner with friends in Brixton. Bill calls her at 7pm with the news she goes straight over. This is old stuff, Maloney. Well, maybe it's a cock death, a genuine tragedy, and we're just trampling over everybody's feelings. There's more, I know it. We keep putting pressure on something or someone will crack. We should go to Wendy and let her decide. She'll have her bollocks. But she'll have yours anyway. Oh, well, you're always offering up my bollocks, aren't you? Who else are you going to work with? My bad office. Who from? Never you mind. My bad office, that's all. Hello? Rose? Marsha? It's nice to hear from you. How are things? We're having a christening. Davina thinks it's a load of balls, but uh, she wants me to be godmother. She just has to have a good Catholic baptism. Don't you agree? Yeah, I suppose. Anyway, we're having it at our house tomorrow evening. And, um, I'd like you to come. You and Mr. Maloney. About six? You, I hope you don't think it's strange. You don't think it's strange, do you? But the baby's only a few days old, isn't she? I know, but uh, I don't want to waste any time. It's important she's baptised. Very important. Is it? Of course, it's essential. Can't you see that? Just in case... Well, you know... They don't... go where they should... if anything happens. OK, we'll come. Thanks, Marsha. Bye. Oh, do we go? Well, why not? Well, I think it is strange. She might be warning us that something's going to happen to the baby. I think we should talk to Wendy. There's a risk here. Come on, I like her. I want to know more before I turn her in for harming her children. You can stop me from doing or saying anything rash. Fat chance. And then if there's an issue, we speak to Wendy and get fired, obviously. What do you say? Yeah, all right, we go to the christening, but, um... You can do something for me, as your judgment's so infallible. Right. Do you think that Joyce... Joyce? You think she might, um... that I'd be in with her... Do you think Joyce has a little thing for me? What do you think? No. Why did you invite her? Oh, you don't mind, do you? I, I like her. There we go. You invited, um, uh, what's his name to come? His name's Martin, Marsha. I was thinking about it. I don't really want him involved. I told Father Keith you were married. 
You did what? Oh, don't be a bore, Davy. It's just a little white lie, so we do things right, okay? Yes, yes, I'm fine. You look bloody worried. Has Rose got you up to something? Um, well, nothing I can't handle. I'm fine. Okay. Just don't let her drop you in the shit. She isn't right about everything, you know. No. Will you have dinner with me? Yes. Like a dinner date thing? Yes. Yes? Yes. Are we having a yesing competition here, Maloney? No. What, tonight? Sorry. Tomorrow night. Um, well, I, I'm supposed to, um... No, actually, sod it. Yes, tomorrow night. That'll be fine. OK. OK. in the morning. Do you want ice? Yes, please. Well, I can honestly say that meeting you has changed my life, Rose. Going somewhere? Yes, I'm leaving in the morning to do GP training in New Zealand. Wow. Mm. I thought I'd skip the country before the judicial review comes out. It's going to be a stinker. Apparently, I've been a little too opinionated. They don't like that in a girl. Oh, grow up, Diane. Of course they don't. Anyway, thanks for polishing off my career. Mine's been polished off a few times. You can come back. Cheers. Cheers. Got something for you. I went through the Campesi case. All the labs, pathology, everything. What you should have done first time around. I lost my job. I think justice has been done, don't you? No. I dug out the core temperature figures. Will Campesi was dead before help got there. Now, I can reasonably propose a time of death to a tolerance of 45 minutes, 16.30 to 17.15 two hours before the paramedics arrived. There have been two trials on this case, Diane. Why am I only hearing about this now? It didn't register at the time. I didn't explore it, OK? Nobody did. The mother said she saw the child being harmed. Right, so you're saying that the time of death was about an hour and a half before the rich middle-class woman claimed she saw the underprivileged working-class nanny smothering her child. Neither the lazy defence lawyer nor the negligent expert witness registered this, not even at appeal. The significance is in the blood, in the lungs. Now, I spoke to the medics. They've got 30 years' experience between them, and they swear they didn't even intubate the child. He was suffocated. For sure? I keep telling you, nothing's for sure. It's just an opinion. Probably carry about as much weight as testimony to the second coming. How did this happen, Diane? Jump to conclusions. Sorry. Okay. Thanks for the drink. You know, in another world, I might have liked you. Best of luck in New Zealand, Diane. 
Uh, Rose, I'm sorry, I can't make it tonight. Um, uh, Sonny, come up. Uh, yeah, um, and it needed uh, uh, immediate attention. And uh, uh, anyway, I'll catch you later. Oh, for Christ's sakes, Maloney. Where are you? And then there was this guy, Stephen. He wanted to marry me. He worked in the Foreign Office. Right. He was nice, but... Those F.O. types, they're not exactly ethnically au fait. I took him to Southall and he acted like he was on safari. Do you want to get that? Uh, no. No, no, it's fine. What is it with you now? Who? It's Rose, isn't it? She's run three times since we got here. Doesn't she ever leave you alone? Well, you know, Rose, she finds it difficult to relax. Anyway, there you go. I'm sorry. Isn't she beautiful? Where's Mr. Maloney? He uh, sends his apologies. He's, um... Oh, this is quite a crowd. Well, they're mostly Davina's funny friends. I don't think half of them have ever seen a baby before. <laughs> you know, I keep thinking, I wish Katie could be here. I suppose that sounds a bit crazy to you. Maybe a little. Well, I'll miss her. We had such a time with Will. But I know she'd love this one. Wouldn't she? Actually, I was wondering if we could have a chat about that, Marsha. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, but I'll get back to you. I've got to um, change this one's nappy. <laughs> Make yourself at home. OK, so the thing is, I'm not in the habit of dating people when I don't know their first name. Well, I'm not very keen on it. Everybody calls me Maloney. How bad could it be? Do you think I'd really care it's if... It's Marion. Marion? Yeah, my mum, you know. For God's sake. Either speak to her or turn it off. Joyce, I'm really sorry, but I'm going to have to go. Go! Jesus. Give her my sodding love. Katie? I ain't doing no harm. I was happy there. I'd like to come back, that's all. They got another baby. You can't do this, Katie. People won't understand. Because I'm a killer. Come and sit in the car. Come Maybe I'm gonna have a party like that. I didn't hurt Will. I did hurt my brothers, and I'm sorry for that. I just, I just wanted some, some. I know. We all want some. Come on, I'll drive you home. Who are you? I'm just a friend of Marsha's. Who are you? I'm the sodding father, apparently. Right. Bloody stupid facade. I mean, Davina doesn't want me around, but I still have to be here for the priest. Davina's a bloody atheist. Well, Christ knows what's going on here. So you're not so friendly with Davina anymore? I don't mind her. I do mind getting my nuts screwed off once and once only so she can get her baby. And I don't even know if I am the father. So I'm, I'm a bit pissed. OK. Tell me, um, what was that? What? Uh, it was the draft. Yeah. Hello. Maloney. Shit, 
Where are you? I, I got Katie home. Uh, OK, I'll ask her. I I'll, I'll call you back. Yes. Katie, Rose wants to know if you're absolutely sure what was on the television when you woke up the night Will died. Rich and Judy. And what time did it start? Five-ish, why? Because that's the time whoever hurt Will was leaving the house, if you're telling us the truth. I want my dad to tell me. This is my son's room. He wants to be with me, Marshall. He doesn't want to be with you. I couldn't help it. I wanted to tell you. You bitch. You bitch. How dare you? Get out. Go and get out of my house. He's mine. He's my husband, and you can't give him anything! Yes, I can. Oh, God! Oh, no! Don't say that! Give me my baby. No! <gasps> Tell her to give me my baby! No! I don't want her dead. I don't want her to touch our baby. <sighs> Shall we just dispense with the usual disciplinary guff? I think I might have lost the will to live. So what does it mean? Well, the witness statements account for their movements at 7 o'clock, but not at 5 o'clock when the baby actually died. The case is over. Why the hell do you have to go on fiddling? Come on, Wendy, because the truth isn't out. The truth is going to blow us out of the water. They've just asked me if I'll accept an MBE when the review's complete. Oh, congratulations. It's closed, Rose. And while it's closed, you've got 24 hours of which I will have no knowledge to get to the bottom of it. Then I disown you and throw you to the dogs, OK? How are we supposed to check all these witness statements in a day? I don't know. Just note the names and we'll just keep at it. You know, technically, we could go to prison for withholding evidence. Stop being a drama queen. How's your love life? Oh, shut up. Just asking. 
Marsha Campesi has abducted her friend's baby. She's been missing for 40 minutes. Christ's sakes, Maloney. You're the one with the logical mind. Where's she gone? I can't think. Look, can we do inspiration? Because I reckon the only chance we've got of keeping our jobs is to find Marsha before anybody else does. I'll get the car. Well, where are we going? Just what? get it. <sighs> Come on, Marsha. Tell me where's safe. Tell me where you've gone. Okay. Where? Who helps Marsha look after babies? to do, Marsha? I don't know. We wouldn't know her. We wouldn't do that. We promise. Would we, Marsha? Annie has to go back to her mother, Katie, do you understand? You can't have this baby. We'll look after her. Katie and I can watch her all the time. Take it in turns. Make sure nothing happens to her. Marsha, it's gone beyond that. The police are going to want to question you about Will. Question me? Will didn't die in his sleep. Somebody smothered him. Whoever it was made the back door slam and woke Katie up. Was it you? They're going to want to know if it was you. Oh, Marsha, are we never going to know the truth about this? I never hurt my baby. I... I fell asleep. I woke up. I, th I thought something seemed strange. And I, I went upstairs to ask you why um, you hadn't called me for supper. I hadn't done it. I fell asleep too. But you told me that supper was set out in the kitchen when you woke up. Yes, I left stuff in the fridge for Katie to cook. That weren't me. I forgot. I fell asleep. So who cooked that meal? Rose. Just let me do this my way, Maloney. How's the baby? Annie's safe. Marsha didn't harm her. Police will give her a warning if you drop the charge. No. Yeah. She took Annie. Marsha would never harm a baby. No. Davina, I need to ask you something. Did you make dinner for Marsha the night Will died? What? Why do you ask? <sighs> well, I was, I was always happy to help Marsha. It matters who was in the house at five o'clock, so I'm asking. You didn't get back till seven, did you? Well, actually, I, I did come home early that day. Why? Davina wouldn't leave me alone. But I knew I had to tell her that we couldn't be together, no matter what we felt about each other. She'd given us Will. And now she had to let me and Marsha be his mum and dad. What are you doing? Why won't you answer me? Pull yourself together, Davy. I told you it was a mistake. We can't do this anymore. We just got too close. And... You said you loved me. You told me you loved me before Italy. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Davina. 
We love Marsha, don't we? Can't. I can give you what you want. No. I can't. You gave us Will. I can't leave him. Cure him. You're feeling a bit down. I know it's hard. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just losing it. I... I didn't think I'd care this much about you. <laughs> David, don't. This is too much. But you love me. No. Um... I'm gonna go to the pub. I can't go home. Yeah. Yeah, you go and get a drink. Everything's gonna be okay. It was chaos. I couldn't work out what was happening. Everything was so messed up. I had to think. So I went to the pub for a few hours. I'd ended it. Where my head is, it ended. After Marsha had. Well, I couldn't do that to you. It's hard to end things in your head, isn't it, love? So when did this start again? After Will died. I just couldn't keep away. OK, but I need to know more about what happened. Oh, well, I just, I just went to the pub. And you cooked a meal for Marsha. <laughs> this is irrelevant. Katie Phelan killed Will. Marsha saw her. No, because that wasn't when he died. He died between 4.30 and 5.15. You went across there. You took the food. I don't know exactly what happened, but you found everyone asleep. So that you could persuade Bill to love you. This is ridiculous. You can't prove any of this. You were there. You didn't say anything. What was there to say? Bill. <sighs> Did you kill my son? Bill. Did you kill, kill my son? No. Now get away from me. This is all lies. Get away. You can't prove any of this. Bill, let me go. We'll see, won't we? Yes, you can. Come on. Perhaps you should give Annie back to her dad. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. I could stay for a while and help out for a bit. Yeah. We'd like that. Bill and I need to talk. Yes. 
Casey, will you show us out? Would Davina get off? No, oh, probably. There's not enough real evidence to sustain a conviction. So what did we achieve? Well, the truth's out. That's all we can do. Probably did enough to keep our jobs. You reckon? I like them. Yeah, so did I. Come on. Terrible thing, jealousy. Yeah, it does things to you. How's your love life progressing with the lovely Joyce? Not so good. Any particular reason? No. Good. She's not right for you. No. Killed a fellow prisoner called Turner, armed only with a toothbrush, apparently. George is my son, Vincent, my grandson. My old man, the criminal, went to rob a bank with a dry cleaning ticket. Is George guilty? God, no. No, criminal! You stay away from me, right? You people stay away from me!